Leverkusen may have lost against Barcelona in the Champions League, but their performance gave plenty of reason for confidence ahead of their clash with Augsburg. Goalkeeper Bernd Leno was in particularly high spirits after receiving his first call-up to the German national squad, though his mood took a turn for the worse on 12 minutes, as a divot in the turf caused Jonathan Tarr's back pass to skip over his foot and gift Augsburg an early lead. Most unfortunate for the 23-year-old, but his loss was Augsburg's gain. That aside, the visitors offered nothing in attack, and the hosts soon took command, levelling the scores before the first half was out when Javier Hernandez's curling strike came back off the post and fell kindly for Karim Bellarabi to nudge home. It was no less than Leverkusen deserved, but the relief was palpable, particularly for Leno, for whom all was quickly forgotten. Still in the second period, Leverkusen were unable to capitalise on their dominance. The industrious Lars Bender might have stolen the home side a march, but a combination of Marvin hits his fingertips and the post denied him. When Yang Ingver, Kals and Bracker then handled in the box, it looked as though Leverkusen would finally get the advantage their performance warranted. Referee Tobias Steeler didn't hesitate to point to the spot. However, Hakan Chalanoglu, normally so reliable from dead balls, spurned the opportunity, losing his footing at the vital moment to send the penalty over the bar. Relief for Marcus Weinziel, yet more frustration for Roger Schmidt. The host continued to pile forward, but there was simply no way through. Hitz produced another fine stop to keep out a Chalanoglu free kick, and Augsburg held on for their first point ever at the Bay Arena. Leverkusen unable to stretch their winning run to three matches, won all the final score.